And so it cuts your chance of dying in a car crash by 45%. We're talking not about wearing helmets, but about wearing seat belts. More police officers on the road are making sure now that you are buckled up. And they'll be out in force this Memorial Day weekend. Ashley Harding joins us live. This is all about saving lives. And local police departments are taking part in the Click It or Ticket campaign. Yes, they are, Bruce. We're talking about Florida Highway Patrol, St. John's County, and Nassau County, as well as Bradford, and as well as Alachua County. Do me a favor, take a look at this video. This is video posted online by the Alachua County Sheriff's Office. They are showing the impact of a crash with no seatbelts using a simulator. Get this, the car you're looking at in that simulation is going just five miles per hour. You can see there is still impact and it is still dangerous to be in the car without being buckled up. Now remember, this is a primary offense, so if you're caught not wearing one of these, you will get pulled over. It's that time of year. Officers and troopers out on the road, on the lookout. The question for you, are you following the law? and buckling up. I think it's very important, especially when you get into the age where I'm going to have three teen drivers at my home. Kiana Taylor has five children. As far as she's concerned, buckling up isn't an option at her house. You won't even back out of the driveway. No. They're like, Mom, we're ready. I'm like, is everybody fastened? Because my, my car deems if the seatbelts are not fastened. Taylor and her family are on the right track, but still, it's shocking how many people don't wear seatbelts. And frankly, it doesn't matter where you're sitting in the car. You could be behind the wheel. Or you could be the passenger. There's just no excuse. You've got to be buckled up, even in the back seat. Because I saw some very tragic accidents where injuries and death could have been prevented. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Gil Smith is right. According to statistics released by Florida Highway Patrol, last year 43% of the people killed in crashes were not wearing seat belts. That percentage was higher the year before. 57% of the people killed all between the ages of 18 and 34 weren't restrained. Here's another tip for adults. Airbags are great when paired with seat belts. They should never be your only form of protection. Over 30,000 traffic crashes occur each year, and um, you would have far less death. I mean, the amount of death that occurs would be cut in half. With click it or ticket going on right now, if you choose not to follow the law, be advised, prepare to get stopped. They want to get people to buckle up. That's why they tell you, we're going to be out. We have extra people out. We're going to be writing citations. One thing to remember, getting caught without your seatbelt won't earn you any points on your license since it's a non-moving violation. And what you'd have to pay, that varies from county to county. But still, keep in mind, always buckle up. Now, click it or take it goes until June 5th. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.